How's it going, guys? Uh, it's Awesome 8000, and uh, we're back playing some Elder Scrolls 4. Uh, we just actually completed the Knights of the Nine DLC. It's pretty fun. Um, pretty short overall, but it was still good in terms of gameplay. It was really fun. A lot of different elements to it, puzzling elements, kind of cool. Um, but now we're moving on to the largest story DLC they actually released for Elder Scrolls 4. And when I say story DLC, I don't mean story DLC, I mean standalone DLC. It's sort of its own thing, its own little, um, obviously standalone. Um, it's got its own new areas of monsters, people, you know, stuff like that. It was, it was the only DLC like that that wasn't in Cyrodiil. So, uh, it should be interesting. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. I have played maybe the first two or three hours of the DLC. Maybe even less. Probably more like an hour and a half. And so I know how to do a couple of the start things. But after that, we're flying blind. I've never actually completed this DLC. Little me, as a kid, wanted to buy it so badly. I was so in love with the game, but... I guess I must have forgotten, or I just didn't have money back then, so I, it never happened. Anyways, let's get started. And before I do, let's let's head to um, my home. One sec, Frost Craig. We're just going to put away some stuff so that we're not over encumbered like immediately upon entry. You know, that's always fun. And I have my faithful assistant here, my squire. I doubt he can come in with me, but I'll try. Let's get that daily leak. Couldn't forget about that. Oh, so you only get alchemical brilliance when you stand near that. Okay, so I'll drop off the longsword. I will also drop off the curse. And... Um... Yeah, let's drop off the helm. One of these alchemics. And I think we are good. The rest we can just sell once we're there. Um, let me grab some ingredients here real quick. I wonder if there's nerd root in this. I don't think there is, but... I always forget what's actually in here. They actually have oblivion stuff too. I don't even know how you grow oblivion items. Like, that's gotta be illegal, right? Anyways, um, the first quest is... Um... Hmm. Nope. No. It- Adora Nibbin Bay, there we go. That's the one. So we're going to head to Breville, and we're going to swim out and see what this door is. Oh, I should have read the quest first, by the way. I'm going to do that. Okay, so. I've heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should go investigate. Let's go investigate. Of course, it's right in the middle of this vast lake where no one would ever look or find it. You know, you can almost guarantee there's been like someone who's actually walked this entire land just looking for Easter eggs and stuff like that, you know. 
I like how you can see like most of what's under the water if you just stay at a certain level. You really see uh, not very much attention was paid to underwater. <laughs> they did not really care about that. Whereas like a game like GTA 4, or not 4, uh, GTA 5, it's just insane underwater. Where's my companion? Com companion? He's not here. Come on. Where is he? Oh, new stuff already. See? Worm's head cap. Whatever this is. Oh, there he is. What? Where'd he come from? Um. Who the hell's so far? Who's this guy? Can't talk now. That door has been making noises again. No telling what's coming out. Um. Here comes it's another right. one. Oh God. Why? Why? Everything is wrong. It can't be done. Stay away from me. Hello. I won't go back. You can't make me go back. I will kill you all. You're all going to die. Stay back. I'm going to let them kill him. See what they can do. Really not much yet. Oh. <laughs> I love Man, I'd stay I love back those from that door if I were you. Nothing that's gone in has come out right. I'm going in. I don't know where it came from, and I don't want to. Those who've gone in have come back out wrong. I'm just here to warn folks to stay away. Uh, what happened to them? Look for yourself. Their brains are addled. Got no sense. Perfectly normal people went in there. And this is what's come out. I'm going in. Ha! It's your funeral. I'm just here to warn people, not keep them out. Go ahead in. I'll be here to clean up the mess when you come out. Unworthy! Unworthy! Oh, unworthy! Useless mortal meat! Walking back Hello? down. Who is this? No, go away. <laughs> okay. A nice effort, though. Shame he's dead. <laughs> These things happen. Okay, so can I go in or? Bring me a champion! Rend the flesh of my foes! A mortal champion to wade through the entrails of my enemies. Yeah. Oh, God, okay, I can go in now. Do sit down. Can I read your book? Look at that. What is that? Oh, stop making noise. Okay. Hello? Yes, what can I do for you? I imagine you're here about the door. This guy's head looks like an egg. Just perfectly round and just completely devoid of air, uh, hair. <laughs> Eggman Haskell. Yes, you have entered and now you are here. Amazing. Truly. I have a feeling that is uh, sarcasm. But, uh, you know, I'll take the bait. I am Haskell. Chamberlain to the Lord Sheogorath. Okay, and what is this place? You approach the Shivering Isles. Through the door behind me lies the realm of Sheogorath, Prince of Madness, Lord of the Never There. Uh, why did that door appear in Cyrodiil? Because my lord wills it to be so. It poses no danger to Mundus. No compact has been violated. It is a doorway, an invitation, 
Perhaps you will accept it for what it is. Ah, uh, okay. And what do they want with me? For you? I do not know. My lord seeks a mortal to act as his champion. As for his intent, to attempt to fathom it is a foolish endeavor. His will is his own. His reality follows suit. You are here because you chose to enter. You were not summoned. And the people outside? They entered this realm and were ill-prepared. Their minds are now the property of my lord. So how can they be cured? Cured? You speak as if they are diseased. They live now in another state of being. Perhaps it is you who needs a cure. What? Me? You do as you will. You may leave the way you entered. Your life will be none the worse for your time spent here. Or you may continue onward through the door behind me. If you can pass the gates of madness, perhaps the Lord Sheogorath will find a use for you. And if I go through? Who is to say? There are always choices to be made. The realm of madness is no different in that regard. Your choices are your own. Enter or do not, but make your decision. I have other duties to which I must attend. Speak with me again when you have made up your mind. The anticipation is almost too much to bear. Good lord. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I have to talk to him? Well, okay. have you made up your mind? The tension is almost palpable. Should I just leave him? Just staring at me all day? God, this is... Oh my god, this would be the most awkward thing of all time. Um, so, you like eggs? Um, because your head looks like one. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do it. Fine. I'm sure my lord will be most pleased, assuming you ever manage to see him. What? You'll want to pass through the gates of madness. Oh, and mind the gatekeeper. He dislikes strangers to the realm. Enjoy your stay. Look at the butterflies. Wow, look at this place, too. Look at the mushroom trees. Can I move or... Oh, I'm in a chair. I just... Okay. I have entered the Shivering Isles. In order to find the lord of this realm, I must first pass through the gates of madness. I also can't talk. Huh! <gasps> 